President Moon Jae-in welcomed a U.S. congressional delegation to the presidential office earlier this Monday. The two sides agreed on the growing importance of the Seoul-Washington alliance. The South Korean leader, however, made clear that in the end, it'll be dialogue that'll lead to North Korea's nuclear dismantlement. Our chief Blue House correspondent, Moon Gan Young, reports. South Korean President Moon Jae-in welcomed a U.S. bipartisan congressional delegation led by Representative Ed Royce at the Presidential Blue House, extending a special thanks for keeping the pressure strong on North Korea through legislative means, while at the same time sending a message for a diplomatic solution. The South Korean leader added that the complete dismantlement of North Korea's nuclear program, however, must ultimately be achieved through dialogue. In response, Congressman Royce highlighted the importance of the South Korea-U.S. alliance. The special relationship that exists between South Korea and the United States is the cornerstone uh, of, our, of our relationship. The South Korean leader also touched upon other aspects of the Seoul-Washington relationship. President Moon noted that the South Korea-U.S. alliance is maturing into a comprehensive one embracing the economy, social issues and culture from an alliance solely based on military and security. Noting how the Korea-US FDA makes huge contributions to the development of both countries, the president vowed to make efforts to build a more reciprocal relationship between the two through the fair trade agreements. The chorus free trade agreement between Korea and the United States, uh, I can say the result has been another $20 billion of additional trade on top of the trade we were already doing between Korea and the United States. And my hope is that we, we use the chorus as the foundation. We make in cooperation what changes we need to make, but we move forward and we continue to create more opportunity, more investment, more businesses, more uh, economic development. Now, the visit by the U.S. House of Representatives across the political aisle comes just on the heels of North Korea's test firing of a trio of short-range ballistic missiles over the weekend in a clear protest of the annual South Korea-U.S. joint military drills currently underway. The visit, experts say, will serve as a show of force, a show of unshakable Seoul-Washington alliance to the leadership in Pyongyang. Moon Gan-yong, Arirang News at the Blue House.